Hello there everyone, welcome back to this time around another tutorial video for the brand new map Jam and Salmon Junction. Perfect timing with it being the current wildcard rotation as well at the time of this upload, with the main topic of this video, dealing with everyone's dreaded salmonid boss, the flyfish. As you know, there are multiple ways to deal with flyfish apart from the normal splat bombing, such as getting them with an explosher if you have one, shooting the middle with a crap tank, blowing them up with a reef slider, or even throwing a splat bomb and a nearby slam and lid. But more on that last one later, since now I'll be showing you the spots you can use your splat bombs instead to one shot the flyfish. A quick refresher for the basics of the trick, that if a flyfish is flying relatively close and below the edge of a platform, you can roll a splat bomb to the edge and its explosion can blow up both of the launchers, splatting the flyfish with a single bomb. Knowing this, there are two spots on Jam and Salmon Junction where you can use the flyfish bomb trick, or at least the spots that I personally know of, one on the right side and one on the left side of normal tide, but unfortunately, high tide and low tide do not have spots where you can use this. Let's start with the easier one on the right side, a flyfish when it spawns will always position itself the exact same way, which is why the first cycle splat bombs are always the easiest, they're very consistent and all you have to do is roll a bomb at the corner of the platform in front of it and it's an easy and guaranteed splat. If you miss the first cycle you have to worry about how you position the flyfish since it reacts to where you are standing, but as long as you aren't too close to move it further away, it should always be possible to use the trick on this side. The second spot is in the left side where the flyfish spawns and positions itself behind the fenced platform, and this one can be a very tricky because the angle is very precise and oftentimes you will only splat one launcher if you aren't careful. On the first cycle it is easy to manipulate a flyfish here by standing in front of it on the ramp, that way all you have to do is roll the splat bomb right at the point where the ramp and the platform meets and it will be an easy double launcher splat. For other cycles, it gets a bit trickier because it depends on how the flyfish was turned, but in general, you don't want to roll the bomb against the fence, since for some reason it can block the explosion, and instead you want it to be in line with the cockpit of the flyfish, a bit more to the middle of the platform. Left side definitely requires more practice than the right one, but this one is also very consistent, just remember, place the splat bomb exactly in line with the cockpit so it splats both launchers. So those are the two easy examples for the flyfish bomb trick on Jam and Salmon Junction, but we can still have two other flyfish spawns in the middle, so naturally it's a good question, can you do anything about them? And that's where the slam and lids come in. If you throw a splat bomb and a slam and lid, it explodes. So in the case you are lucky to have a flyfish and a slam and lid spawn on the same side, you can always use them for quick splats, as all you need to do is throw a bomb against the slam and lid's barrier around the height where the flyfish is flying at, and the explosion will affect both of its launchers if the lid's barrier was close enough. It's an easy and super super fun method of dealing with flyfish in case they are not in a good trick position, so try it out, I promise you it will be super fun, and these tricks are very useful for general gameplay and aren't as niche as you would think. They will highly elevate your success in Salmon Run and help you climb your ranks. But that is it for this super quick tutorial for Jam and Salmon Junction. Hope it was helpful and clear for everyone. Make sure to ask any questions if something wasn't explained well. And of course, if you know any other flyfish spots where you can use your splat bombs, make sure to share it with us so we can check them out as well. Thank you for watching, coworkers. Appreciate all the support. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you all the next time.